Okay guys, it's Jason again. I just want to go through this real quick with you guys because that last video I put up, I know the screen capture resolution was really low and overall it made for kind of a grainy picture. It was kind of hard to see what I was doing. So what I've done here is I just did this really quick with this new program to see how the screen capturing was gonna go. Um, and I figured I would test it out. And after I tested it out, I said, hey, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this up there so you guys can see a better copy. Anyway, this is a picture we shot the other night. Um, I opened the picture from bridge into camera raw. The picture was a little blue to begin with. Um, so right now I've grabbed the white, uh, or the white balance tool, custom white balance tool, and I'm going around looking for a spot that would give me a white balance that I liked. Remember, accurate color white balance and good color balance are not always the same. I mean, just because a, color is, a picture is white balance doesn't mean it's going to look good. Uh, in this particular image, I couldn't find one. Okay, you hear that noise right there? That means that I just hit on an area that didn't have any info in it, so it didn't work. Anyway, I found what I wanted, and now I'm going to go and adjust it manually to get to the best place I like the image. This is all just kind of trial and error, but with Camera Raw, you can do this. Um, what I'm doing here is because the image was overblown, I brought down the whites and the highlights, and then I darkened up the shadows a little bit. Um, and then I brought some clarity into it, which again adds noise, but we'll deal with it in a minute. Vibrance I wanted to bring up just a little bit. Now this, what I'm doing here is I'm going through and manually entering numbers. I'm a little OCD. I like my numbers to be, uh, you know, 75, 70. I like to be zeros or fives just because that way I know in my head if I open up their pictures, uh, that are similar to this. I remember, okay, this one was 85, this is 20, 75, 50, 10. Saturation is a little different because I keep that really low because I don't want to overblow the colors. This is at a two. Go ahead and open that image. Remember, just like last time, once the image opens, I'm going to go ahead and um, save it as a JPEG. Because remember, we shot that in camera, or we shot that as a raw file, edited it uh, in camera raw. And then now I'm actually going to save it to my desktop as a JPEG. Save that. Maximum resolution. Okay. Now I'm going to open that with uh, the other photo program I use, Studio FX. Uh, which, again, that's, oh, I'm sorry, Photo FX, not Studio FX. Um, open that image. I didn't want to save that one I was working on. That was a different picture I was working on. Anyway, open that picture back up. And the first thing I'm going to do is run the denoise because remember I told you that we add some digital noise back into that. And you'll see here how I went from JPEG to RAW and you'll see all that noise kind of just disappear at the, process, at the expense of a little bit of sharpness. But remember again, we're going to deal with that here in a second as well. Once this is done processing, we're going to run another process on it. Uh, Topaz Clarity. Now you can see from the left there's a bunch of different um, presets that you can use that give you all kind of different effects. Again, these are only effects that I like. Uh, not everybody's cup of tea, but for me, I like the way my pictures look when I'm done with this, so I choose to use them. Uh, I, again, I know that there's another person in our group who started using some of these and has gotten some brilliant uh, responses from his work. Okay, so now I've gone ahead and I started the Topaz plugin uh, for Clarity. Once it opens up Topaz Clarity again, it's going to give me the preview windows of all the difference. Now, I don't go through all these because, like I said, I didn't intentionally mean for this to be a tutorial. I knew which ones I was probably going to use, and I did go with my favorite, which is the Micro Contrast Boost right there. I just like the way that one works. Once that one's done processing, we go ahead and save that image. Go ahead, Jason, save that image. <laughs> now you will notice when I get down on here, I am going to run into a little bit of problem on this. Um, and it was just kind of a weird thing. What had happened was I tried to open a file that I already had open uh, with the same name and updated it. And for purposes of what I do, I don't like that. So I had to go through and save this one as a different name. You'll see it here in a second when it opens back up. Anyway, we're at that point, we're gonna save this. Right here's where I normally would have changed it to an A, B, as I told you guys to do, but for whatever reason, I just didn't do it. I just hit save and named it the same thing as the last one, so it kinda screwed me up a little bit there. Normally, I would have named this 53A, but I forgot to. I just said whatever, do it, because I was in a rush just to see if the screen capture works. Hit okay. 
really the, the intent of this video is to show you how fast you can do this once you have your pictures. Now, um, keep in mind, it wasn't a horrible picture to start with, but it just, you know, I took a picture that was a good picture, and in my opinion, I made it better, or at least I made it more dynamic, more interesting to look at. Um, I don't know why it's going so slow right here. Maybe that's, you know what, Crystal was sitting next to me the whole time and I was talking to her about what I was doing, so maybe I wasn't paying all that much attention. That's the original. You're going to notice here when I try to open it, it asks me about opening it and updating this file. I actually did that. And then, of course, after I did that, I realized, oh, I didn't want to do that right here. The disk copy of that has changed. I want to update it. Um, I did not want to do that because I want to keep it so I can see the differences. So I actually said, eh, cancel, no. Yeah. Oh, wait, maybe I do want to do that. Let's go ahead and do that. You'll see I actually did this a couple times. <laughs> and I'm going to leave all this in because I don't want you guys thinking that, like, I'm perfect at this. I mean, I make mistakes, and, uh, again, I'm not an expert. These are things I do that I find work well for me. Again, see, I hit update here, and then I realized, oh, snap, it changed my picture, and that's not what I wanted. Oh, wait, 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 that's not what I wanted. Uh, let me edit that, undo it, and then let me go to this desktop and rename that file. So I actually just made a copy of it, pasted it on my desktop. So now I have one named copy. Okay, so we'll just open copy and do the edits on that. open the copy so I can see the difference between the two because I like to see the difference between the two just to make sure that the edit I did is what I wanted to. Too many people rely on doing something and not actually checking their work. They hit those auto buttons or whatnot and it's just not going to give them the look they want. What I do here is I copy it off of that. I paste it over the original so I can actually go back and forth and look at the two side by side. I'm going to run my sharpness filter on there that I told you about before. Um, and it's going to add just a little bit more detail back into it. Again, my presets, preset is 200, 2.5, and 100, I believe I said on that. I don't remember. And then this is my final picture. And then let me click on and off of the eyes so you can see the beginning. And that's after white balancing. This is with the Topaz Labs. Um, and then here's the other thing. These other two pictures, these were submitted to the magazine. Uh, beginning, that's what, and that's what I did. Beginning, that's what I turned it into. And this one here is even more dynamic, in my opinion. That's how it was sent to us. That's what we turned it into. And I'm not saying that the other pictures weren't good. They just, they became better. So anyway, guys, that was just a quick tutorial. And there you go. And if you want to do screen capture, uh, this software, this uh, OBS software works really well. Thanks for watching.